to go trip there instead of somewhere else. Pretty blustery, strong winds coming in north-northwest. Uh, Goodwood's got a fantastic runway into winds, so all sensible routes head to, to uh, Goodwood. Um, I've caught a little bit of controversy recently in one of my videos. I slightly naively put a video about radio and uh, nailing your radio like a pro into the student forum of Flyer, and there's been a lot of reaction. The video was taken down quite rightly because it wasn't very accurate and uh, in a student forum it's not the best place for me to be talking about stuff which isn't best practice. I, I made a few edits and uh, the forum put it back up with those edits in place and a few caveats. But anyway, it was a bit naive for me to do that. What's interesting is it's kicked off so much debate on the forum. Some good, uh, lots of it not so good. I'm not sure what people do with their time, but uh, kind of go and uh, stalk forums and kick up a fuss. But the point being is, um, you know, I've got to be more careful about the videos I make, about the reason for those videos, and not to be producing videos before to tell people how to do things uh, correctly, uh, but more to uh, help people learn from uh, from what I'm doing. So not, not, not instructional videos, but these videos are much more just like, here's me, here's applying, and here are my experiences. You'll learn some good habits and some bad habits, but it's up to you as a pilot to be able to work out what's good and what's bad. To climb a little bit. Uh, so anyway, um, I appreciate everyone who fed into the, uh, the forum and uh, created the debate. Life is nothing without two sides of an argument, and obviously the moderators do a great job of being able to watch all the videos that are put up there and then flag anything that is, isn't correct. So I just wanted to not set the record straight. I, I did some things that I probably wouldn't do again. Uh, I've certainly been much more careful where I post. Uh, but it's also really good that, that the Flyer Forum were willing to put the video back up so people could learn from uh, those like me who do things uh, not exactly correctly, but are willing to hold our hands up and say we've made some mistakes. So uh, this is a little little video to Goodwood. I'll just do a little bit when we're in Goodwood and a bit on the way back. So we're just uh, about to come into the Goodwood overhead. And I've got it off to my left. It's quite bumpy through the hills there. But uh, missed the rain, so not, this, not, not an unpleasant flight at all. Beautiful view at the sea ahead of me. And there all the yachts in the estuaries. Quite a gorgeous day. Very quiet out here today. I think the, uh, the high winds have put, uh, put a lot of people off. So I've got a 2,000 two foot overhead and a 1,200 foot circuit on QFE. Okay, let's lose a bit of power. 
Right, now look at the runway. Fly it down, look at the picture. Fill the power. And we're down. A little bit heavier than I'd like, but uh, not the end of the world. Uh, gentle braking, and we're here. Dear India, welcome to Goodwood. Turn down Kate to the right, taxi park in front of the tower. Okay, it's right hand taxiing to Fuck Much Tag off here, India. Okay, airspeed's live. Wind's blowing very hard straight down the runway. We've got 50, she wants to go. And we're climbing like a rocket in the wind. Lovely lunch at Goodwood. Fantastic uh, ATC, well, not ATC, but fantastic uh, information service. Uh, all very friendly, happy, and cheery. Um, nicely relaxed, not so relaxed that it's uh, in any way dangerous, but uh, relaxed enough that it feels like you're uh, for enjoyment. Uh, fantastic food, ham, egg and chips, awesome, all part of my new diet. And now heading back to Waltham. And actually it looks pretty clear, I was thinking it's going to look a bit rainy, but it doesn't look bad. Okay, so yeah, ready for departure, 3C. Okay, so we are cruising along through the beautiful English countryside. Got a bit of rain ahead of me, uh, just some light showers, nothing too dramatic. And uh, on my way down, I was flying 100 knots uh, through the air with 130 knots over the ground, which is pretty impressive. And I've got a 26 knot headwind, so my 100 knots is now uh, giving me about, well, I'm actually getting 67. So I'm flying a little bit slow, climbing a bit, drop down. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, quite a difference. It'll take me a bit longer to get back. Yeah, I don't get here. But hey, that's the weather, and it doesn't half affect you flying. Uh, but it's actually a pretty nice day. A little bit bumpy, it's not a day for first time flyers, but otherwise I think it's a good experience to get out and fly in strong winds, as long as you are flying on a runway that is directly into the wind, or pretty good into the wind, and uh, you know what you're doing about your crosswind landing, because you've got to land somewhere else. I've done very little crosswind landing training. I do need to do some more, and I think as, these, uh, as the weather picks up like this, I might try and book in some uh, practice and just get more and more comfortable in the in the crosswind landings. It's not a not an easy thing to do, um, but apparently once you master it, it's uh, not too bad. Oh, bit of a bump and lump there. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, nothing to report. Beautiful day. We've got a rainbow off to my right and uh, some rain dead ahead. <laughs> it's weather bonkers. Ah, right. Okay. Oh, yep. Quite bumpy. I'm getting pulled up a little bit here, so just uh, come down a little bit. I'm getting close to the cloud base, so let's trim down a little. So just heading over Basingstoke, and the weather's a bit more pants than uh, it was when I left. It's uh, from, from chunky spells of rain, a little bit more turbulence. Whoop, uh, going down, come back up. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's not too bad. I just steered around this big cell from the south, it looked like I couldn't see through it, so I didn't really want to uh, enter into IMC with my instrument playing up slightly. I've upgraded to a traffic service with uh, Farnborough, as it's quite difficult to see planes somewhat rather short notice, and I know there are gliders active as well, so ha handy to, to get that service as well. Yeah, that's quite... <laughs> uh, that's quite bumpy, I was about to say, as I came out of my seat. Um, actually very slow moving this weather. I thought it would be moving much faster considering the wind's blowing at around 30 knots. The, um, the weather actually, the rain showers are moving through very slow. I'm not a, uh, a weatherman, so I don't really understand why it doesn't move much quicker, but it's uh, moving slow. Anyway, struggle on through, get around the back of it, and then hook over to, uh, to go over to Waltham. Ah, it's horrible. This isn't what flying's about. So anyway, not when you're out for a, a day flight for lunch and back, but I suppose it's good practice for me, and uh, good to have the security of the traffic service. Okay, I can see it's clearing a little bit off to my right. Ah, there we go, perfect. Turning around now, this is the way I came, and uh, yeah, I know, turn, turn, turn. Interestingly, the rain on Sky Demon is shown up on here. Um, it's quite a light patch, actually, I think that's a bit heavier, that's probably more like a green. But it hasn't shown, um, it's shown up a bit further away from where I am, I think. So it's actually uh, a little bit closer to, to my heading. But, you know, it's good to see. 
Sky Demon weather is not a, um, a weather radar. Just Top Sierra India traffic right one o'clock four miles trucking west indicating 100 feet per day. Okay, currently uh, uh, India Mike Charlie, uh, Gulf Sierra India. Uh, so, given the, my poor visibility, they've just told me there's a plane near me and I'm not able Head to see uh, as far as I'd like to, miles, so I've just called uh, India Mike Charlie below, IMC and I'm just going to turn a little bit to the left. Come up, All right, I can see it on my. Uh, by Sky Demon. Got here, India. Please be called traffic one o'clock, two and a half miles right to left, now indicating 300 feet below. I'm looking out, Got here, India. Twelve o'clock, one mile. Got here, India. You just passed above that traffic now. It's now in your city. Nine hundred feet below. Okay, Roger. And uh, Got here, India is now um, Victor, Mike, and Charlie. Roger. Brilliant. Well, that was why uh, I think it's a good idea to have a service from. Uh, Farm Bro, as I flew into some pretty miserable weather there, I was able to get a traffic service, all climbing out, uh, get a traffic service, and uh, when I couldn't see through the cloud, they were able to tell me there's an aircraft coming towards me. They were also able to tell the other aircraft who was listening, uh, probably on a listening squawk, that I was above them. They descended, and um, I was able to clear past in pretty poor visibility. So thank you very much, Farm Bro. Awesome, as always, and... Uh, I'm glad I did that. Well, I'm pretty much back to uh, the reporting point for more than Point Sierra. So thank you very much for uh, for watching. And of course, if you can and you want to, uh, hit subscribe, hit like. And uh, the more people I get, the more I want to make videos. Uh, sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself, which I probably am. But I appreciate everyone who uh, watches the channel and pays some interest. And please, obviously, share any information with me. Uh, any questions and anything you want to know.